It's not on the ballot today, but the plan is for voters to weigh in next November on the idea of turning the Buckhead neighborhood into its own city. If it's a yes vote, the entire city would feel the impact, but only voters in Buckhead will decide. But why? Here's our why guy. Like a disgruntled employee leaving a job to go out on their own, Buckhead is threatening to leave the city of Atlanta. In recent years, Metro Atlanta has seen the birth of several new cities, but this effort is unique. Before it can become its own city, voters in Buckhead will first have to decide if they want to leave Atlanta. One study estimates the city of Atlanta would lose $252 million in tax revenue each year if that happens. And yet the plan is for voters in the Buckhead neighborhood and not the entire city of Atlanta to decide. Let's look at why. Rushi Patel with the Georgia Municipal Association says the state legislature could do the voting without a vote of the people. There's nothing in state law requiring there to be a referendum. The legislature technically could just introduce a new charter for a new city. New cities like Chattahoochee Hills and South Fulton grew out of unincorporated areas of Fulton County. It was voters living within those areas of Fulton County who had the final say and not the entire county. Bill White is leading the effort to turn the Buckhead neighborhood into a city. I think it's inappropriate to have me vote uh, what's going to happen in South Fulton. I wouldn't want to put my views on them, and I'm glad they're not going to be able to put their views on me. It's up to the legislature to decide who votes and the threshold voters have to reach to approve a new city. A good example of that was a uh, proposed city of Sharon Springs had a 57.5% it's not always 50 plus one. This isn't the first time voters in Metro Atlanta have weighed in on leaving one city to form another. In 2018, a proposed city of Eagles Landing failed when voters in that area decided not to leave the city of Stockbridge. 